tell us a bit about your background and training. I have a private practice in Vancouver and I originally started uh, studying in uh, the Vancouver College of Counselor Training and then I went to the Orca Institute back in 2006 to study hypnotherapy. So I have been working with clients since about, um, I guess probably for eight years now, um, in a variety of different uh, ways and modalities and hypnotherapy is one of the things that I'm very passionate about. Tell us about your teaching philosophy. Teaching is very important for me. I've been doing teaching probably now for well over 25 years. And in the classrooms for the Orca Institute, um, I find it really important that each student has uh, the ability and the opportunity to tap into their own unique way of learning and being. And I try to make the, the classrooms uh, fun. I try to also really honor each person's individual style. You know, that's really important to me. So that my teaching is very eclectic, uh, very experiential. Uh, I give students a lot of opportunity to experience hypnosis, to, to try and to play. I really like to see it as playing and to play with the hypnosis so that they can really find their own style. Everybody that comes to the classes is going to use hypnosis for a different reason. Mm -hmm. So the classroom becomes a place where people can experiment, and make mistakes, start over again, really develop and, and work with uh, the tools that they also bring, their resources, their skills, the qualities that they have. The other neat thing too is, is that um, I like to include everybody in the class so that not only are you learning from the material, but you're also learning from each other. Mm -hmm. And we have a wide variety of different students, so oftentimes the classes can be just amazing. So my teaching style is really based on who comes to the class, what you bring to the class, um, the questions, the case studies, the passion. I have an enormous amount of passion about hypnosis, and people often find that it's really quite catching, and they get all caught up in that too. So teaching, to me, is, needs to be fun, and can be serious, and fun, and playful, and yeah, that's how what I think about teaching. Can you speak about what you would cover in a class? Well, each class is different, and each class is based on what the students bring. But I do have a few set um, things that I teach. I like to spend lots of time on pacing and tone. I also spend time on stories and metaphors. That's mm -hmm. one of my favorite. Uh, counseling, because this is counseling hypnotherapy, counseling is very important as well. So oftentimes people who are just moving into the counseling field have a lot of questions about how to do the counseling, ethics and things like that. So we try to cover all of that as well. Students will bring different things. So each time, you know, a set of classes start, I would cover different things. We spoke about suicide for one class because a student was really interested in that. And the other things that I like to cover as well is direct and indirect because one of the biggest challenges about uh, working with Ericksonian hypnotherapy is to take the direct and make it indirect. So it speaks to the unconscious mind. So we spend lots of time playing with that and really helping the, the students to learn the language and to play with the language and find their own unique way of using the language. What is it that you enjoy about teaching? I enjoy the students. I enjoy the, the, the commitment for somebody who decides to study something like hypnotherapy, they bring a desire to learn, a commitment. Uh, it touches a deep place in me of my commitment and my passion. Each person, as I said earlier on, will have a different reason for wanting to study hypnotherapy. So I love to be able to meet that. And how can I foster that? How can I find a way of allowing the student's unconscious mind to really flourish and have a way to tap into their skills, their resources, the qualities they bring as a person. Most of the students we have will also have studied other things, so they'll bring those there. How do we bring that in and, and work it together so that every part of you can become a hypnotherapist? So that's one of my biggest passions. There are many schools of hypnosis, of hypnotherapy. Why Ericksonian hypnotherapy? Well, for me, over the years as a counselor and doing my own personal healing work, I've come to really respect the unconscious mind. And that was the one thing that I really loved about Ericksonian hypnotherapy, was is that the indirectness of using stories and language. One of my favorite ways of working with clients and 
helping the students to understand is to create this space for the unconscious to do the work that it needs to do. And that's just the value of stories. And Erickson was the greatest storyteller. So I just love stories. But also to be able to use through language and to create a framework so that the unconscious can move into that space that's created in the relationship between the counselor and the client to be able to do the work that it's already started doing. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the thing that Erickson really taught me in studying his works. So that's why I love Ericksonian hypnotherapy.